Hi, this is Jessica with Tiny Frog Technologies. And today I'd like to talk about adding gated content to your website. So the term gated content refers to any type of website content where a website visitor needs to provide some type of information in order to get access to it. And the most common type that we'll see is setting up an email opt-in form on the website where a visitor needs to input their email address and then they'll have access to an ebook or a white paper. Now there's a few things you should think about when setting up gated content on your site. One is that you want to make sure the actual gated content is really valuable and something a visitor would really want to uh, download and get access to. Otherwise, there's not much incentive for someone to come to the site and give their information. The other thing is you want to make sure to probably gate one or two really valuable pieces of content on your site, but then leave the other resources open to visitors to navigate. If someone comes to the site and all the resources and content is gated, it can really frustrate a user and they'll most likely go to another website to find those resources. And you also don't want to gate too many pieces of content from an SEO perspective. So when you gate a piece of content and set up a website form in front of it, it can actually block the search engines from indexing and finding that piece of content. So we typically recommend creating a really valuable and interesting uh, ebook or white paper and then setting up an email opt-in form or different way to capture a visitor's information. And then this can be used for different marketing campaigns and ways to follow up with prospective clients. So if you have any questions about setting up gated content on your site, uh, definitely reach out to our team.